Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire up track feeders. And the way we're going to wire up the track feeder is to use a connector for our track. Right here, I have an N scale track connector. And what I want to do is I want to solder this wire to my connector. And the purpose of this is to feed power to my track. Or the, if I'm using DC, this would be my primary power line. If I'm using DCC, I may have several of these with as DCC because there's data coming to your track. You, need to, you will need to wire up several different track feeders for your layout to function at maximum, with maximum performance. So what I've done is I've taken a wooden block and I've just chiseled out a little impression in which the connector will fit inside that impression. And I'm just going to drop my connector in face down like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip the wire about two sixteenths of an inch. Then what I'm going to do is in order to keep the wire in place to make it easiest for me to solder, I'm going to straighten my wire out like that. And I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to tape my wire onto my block making sure that the exposed side of the wire is nicely over the connector. And you can use any kind of tape. Masking tape is, is, is cheap and easy to use. So I'm just going to put my wire on like this and I'm going to tape it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat my connector and I'm going to have my solder ready in one hand and I'm just using standard 6040 solder. And I'm going to put my solder out here with my iron and I'm going to heat my, my connector up. I'm going to preheat my connector. We don't want to overheat it, but we do want to get it nice and hot so that the solder flows onto it well. And I'm just going to touch my solder onto my connector and it flows, as you can see, it flows off nicely to the sides. And I'll let that cool for one minute. Okay, and now I can take this off. Take the tape off. And now you can see I have a nice strong, and it's cooled enough, I can touch it. I have a nice strong uh, connector that I can now use to feed power to my track. So if I want, I can just bend this down like so. And then when I feed this through my layout to the track, you barely even see the wire. In fact, once this is ballasted and painted and everything, you won't even see uh, the wire really at all. So that is how you wire up track feeders for your layout. And what's nice now is you can do as many of these as you need. And it's a quick and easy and cheap procedure. Uh, much cheaper than having to go out and uh, buy these. The other nice thing is if you break one or you ruin one, you can easily create a new one. But as you can see, I'm pulling on this pretty tight, and it's very, very strong. So don't be afraid to, to manhandle it a little bit if you have to. So what I've done is I've soldered a 22-gauge wire to a connector. And as you can see here, I've slid the connector onto my N-scale track. My soldering iron is just a standard solder iron. You can pick these up anywhere. Any electronics store has them. This one I have actually had for probably about 20 years. Uh, I got it for about $4.99 at Radio Shack. So uh, it's, it's served me well. Um, certainly I've gotten my money's worth out of it. Done a lot of soldering with it. And again, the solder that I used is just the 6040 um, solder. And you can certainly use a finer grade of solder if you have a finer tip. Uh, the principle is the same. You just want to anchor your work down, preheat it and then put your solder on there. And that's it.